Could Lieutenant Simon Ghost Riley be losing faith in Captain Price after the death of Soap? Now that's something that I briefly mentioned in one of my previous videos last week. And since then, I began to think more about it. Could there be any truth to that statement? And I think we need to look at Ghost and look at the relationship that he had with Sergeant Soap, as well as look at the current state of mind that Captain Price is in. I am not gonna beg for my life. Not from you or anybody else, Captain. Wouldn't do you any good. We know that Ghost and Soap were working with Price since about 2019 when they captured Makarov in April of that year. After this, Price formed Task Force 1 for 1 and the team have been operating together ever since. Ghost was a little hesitant of Soap as early as 2022 due to the fact that he believed that the sergeant could be a little reckless at times. But through the events of Modern Warfare 2 that involved Las Almas Mexico and the betrayal of the Shadow Company, Sergeant Soap showed a tremendous amount of bravery and determination. Ghost began to trust the sergeant more and almost took him under his wing. He wanted the sergeant to be even better than himself. <sighs> All right, Johnny. You made it. We made it, LT. Hold fast. That's one way of doing it. Get back. Thanks. Drive. Come for us. Now, however, we know that that will never come to be as Soap died during an ambush by Makarov and his men, while Soap and Price were disarming a bomb, and Ghost was just a few seconds away from saving his life. Captain Price, on the other hand, has to feel some guilt in the death of Soap, especially due to the fact that they could have killed him back in 2019 and avoided a lot of trouble, especially because Vladimir Makarov is supposed to be one of the most dangerous men on the planet. And one could say, well, it would be illegal to kill Makarov or rather execute him in cold blood. But why? When he's done it to thousands of people already. And we know that Captain Price isn't afraid to blur the lines between good and evil, especially when it comes to keeping the world safe. Let's not forget his famous quote from Modern Warfare 2019. You draw the line wherever you need it, Sergeant. End of the day, someone has to make the enemy scared of the dark. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. His actions against the wolf's right-hand man, the Butcher, also show us this side of the captain, among many other examples. But the point here is, what if he becomes more dangerous? Maybe more unhinged? And I can see that happening with this version of Captain Price. I also believe that Barry Sloan, the actor behind the famous captain, could pull off this version of the character, and maybe he would welcome it. And now, this may be due to some recency bias that I have because I've been watching the show Six where Barry Sloan plays Chief Officer Joe Bear Graves. And here his character at times can feel unhinged and maybe a little dangerous, but he is also the one in charge of his squadron. And his soldiers kind of begin to question some of his actions. In a similar way, I can see Ghost beginning to question Price and his state of mind. If he decides to go down a more unhinged or lawless direction in getting Makarov. As for what I've seen from Ghost, he seems more in line with doing things in order and following the rules. But we also know that Ghost is one of the most dangerous members of Task Force 1 for 1. And this is due to his history and the assignments that he's been on. Pitting Ghost against Price would not only make for an interesting new take on these characters, but also make the death of Soap more impactful. Because it would have Makarov winning as he was victorious in killing Soap and tearing up Task Force 1 for 1, his biggest threat. This would also elevate the character of Makarov and make him feel truly evil. Because so far, this portrayal of Makarov has been, in my opinion at least, very lackluster. I also think that we've seen small moments where maybe Ghost isn't fully trusting of Captain John Price. So we could have some groundwork uh, for this storyline already set. One moment that I can think of is when Graves betrayed them and Ghost told so that they couldn't trust anyone outside of each other. This included Captain Price. We're on our own. Take him dead or alive. Yeah. What about Captain Price? Price isn't here, is he? The old man can't bail us out, not this time. 
I trust the captain. If he knew, he'd be here. Be careful who you trust, Sergeant. People you know can hurt you the most. Now, I always found this statement a little strange because you would think that your team's captain is a man that you can fully trust, but Ghost didn't want to, and maybe there's a good reason for that. Now, obviously, we know that Captain Price came to his aid later and all was good. So yeah, there's a world where I can see the two disagreeing and maybe like I mentioned in my video last week, Ghost goes rogue and the reason that he does is because maybe he feels Price isn't doing the right thing or an order is given that compromises the squad in Ghost's eyes. So again, all of this is a theory, if you will, and more so a fun video to just make and put the discussion out there. Will this happen? Probably not. The more real probability here is that Ghost and Price are equally angry and are both willing to do whatever it takes to finally end Makarov. If anything, both of them have even more motivation now than they've ever had before.